Charlotte opened a new immigration office today, and many are hoping that this will speed up the process of legal immigration and naturalization. Well, today, Anthony Castora, our reporter, was there, and the ICE detainer controversy pretty much once again took center stage at this event. The acting chair of the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Office came to Charlotte today to commemorate a new facility here. But he also took an opportunity to put the Mecklenburg sheriff on blast for his stance on illegal immigration. The Constitution it started as a naturalization ceremony for more than 30 of America's newest citizens. There we go. Followed by a ribbon cutting to commemorate a new immigration office in Charlotte. Law enforcement has traditionally set politics aside uh, to put public safety first, and that is not happening in Mecklenburg County. But the acting national director of U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, Kenneth Cuccinelli, quickly put the heat on Mecklenburg County Sheriff Gary McFadden. He called out the sheriff for eliminating the 287G program, the voluntary program that cooperated with ICE. It is astonishing to me to see a sheriff such as you have here in this county who believes scoring political points at the expense of public safety is a good idea. Cuccinelli called on all law enforcement agencies to work with local and state governments to find common ground on immigration. But while that's a work in progress, he touted this new 31,000 square foot office space in Charlotte. He says it's a remedy to process people seeking citizenship legally more efficiently. This new facility increases capacity by 60% and serves residents in nearly 50 counties across the Carolinas. Cuccinelli says it's a reflection of President Trump's plan to reform immigration across the board. The president has been very aggressive in addressing the immigration crisis that we face in this country. The former office space used by the department is now being used by other federal agencies. Back to you. We did reach out to Sheriff McFadden for a comment on all this, but just last week he said politicians and even ICE are misrepresenting his policy. He maintained that detainers from immigration and customs enforcement are only requests and not the law. Still waiting to hear back on that request for comment today.